The following contest is scheduled for one fall. One submission or a knockout to decide the winner. And it is for the MVP Wrestling League Intercontinental Championship. Good evening, wrestling fans from the world-famous AWL Arena in Tokyo, Japan. This is the Animated Wrestling League, episode 326, part two. And our first championship match of the week. Kid Canada, the reigning and defending Intercontinental Champion, has said he wants to defend the title against wrestlers from five different countries. How he's gonna do that during a pandemic? Not sure, but he's already defended once against El Rudo Rojo from Mexico. This time, it's Lee Masters from the United States of America, the mixed martial artist, who will step up to the challenge of the most Canadian man in the world. There he is, W-Y-S, write your story. That's what he started saying when he used a golden opportunity to become AWL Grand Champion. And now, he's looking to use the Intercontinental Championship to do the same thing. He walks the road less traveled. He has already successfully made one title defense, five defenses, and he will cash that belt in for an opportunity at the AWL Grand Champion, whomever that may be. It's probably going to be Goku destroy. Let's just be honest about that. And there you see it. The limitless potential of the Intercontinental Champion symbolized by the blank faceplate of the belt. Let's go to ringside for the official introductions. Introducing first the challenger, fighting out of Minneapolis, Minnesota, now residing in Tokyo, Japan. The technical wizard, Lee Masters! And his opponent he is the reigning and defending Animated Wrestling League Intercontinental Champion. Tonight, making his second title defense. He is a member of Seikai Gun and the most Canadian man in the world, Kid Canada! This is an officially sanctioned Intercontinental Championship match under the auspices of the Animated Wrestling League, AWL Commissioner presiding. At the sound of the bell, AWL Senior Official, Joey Bobaganoosh, in charge. Lee Masters gets a good look at the belt so he knows what he's fighting for. There it is, the Intercontinental Championship, the contender's title. Mixed martial arts versus Canadian dungeon style wrestling. 30 minutes on the clock. Let's see what we get. Kick to the midsection. Touch the eye. And an interesting version of a wrist lock here. Taking down joint manipulation, skilled mat technique, skilled grappling technique, but a face buster. Kid Canada used to being surprised by submission maneuvers. After all, one of the last graduates, the final graduating class alongside Tyson Kidd, among others, of the legendary Stu Hart Dungeon. So he knows what it means when someone wants to show you something. Crucifix does not hold him for a pin, cannot hold him for a pin. Kid Canada goes on the offense, but a simple raising knee, a simple knee lift, taking Kid, taking Kid Canada down for a second cross body block. And again, not bothering for a cover that time. He certainly could have done. One minute in, and it's been blow for blow, hold for hold. Almost a diving clothesline there by Lee Masters. Lee Masters, typically a tag team specialist. We don't get to see him in singles competition that often. Bulldog, a big Canadian Bulldog. Do they have Bulldogs in Canada? I don't even know. Oh, and what is this? As, as a kneeling abdominal stretch, I think you could call that. That's the problem with calling a Kid Canada match, is I genuinely, half the time, have no idea what he's doing. And looking for some kind of an escape back to a vertical base to relieve the pressure. Lee Master is able to convert into a hip toss, but damage done to the arm and to the abdominal muscles of Kid Canada. Oh! Some kind of a takeover by Lee Masters. I'm out of my element here, ladies and gentlemen. These guys know, these guys have forgotten more wrestling holds than I've ever known. We're only two minutes into this now. 30 minutes on the clock. A little wrestle maps in the corner. 
30 minute time limit in all championship matches in the AWL to prevent a fluke title retention by time limit draw. Because yes, in the event of time limit draw, the belt will remain with the champion. And now going up, swinging neck breaker by Kid Canada. This leg sweep by Lee Masters trying to pull him up into a front face lock, vertical suplex position. And he likes to convert that vertical suplex into a rear naked choke, but this time decided, I'm just gonna hit him and hurt him. And now Kid Canada quite literally on the ropes. Remember the title is on the line here. And Lariat to the outside, that may have been a strategic error by Kid Canada, sorry, by Lee Masters, but it does give him a bit of a breather and chance to take control of the situation. The referee begins the 20 count. Standard Japanese wrestling rules apply here in the AWL as Kid Canada goes straight into the corner of those steel steps. And these two combatants getting a little close for comfort here at the commentation station. Slip back into the ring. Oh, wait a minute. Canadian Destroyer out of nowhere. One second's hesitation. Quite possibly the difference between victory and defeat. Taking a couple seconds to make the cover. One, two, and somehow, somehow Lee Masters seeing his championship opportunity, something that doesn't come around all that often in the AWL, going down the drain. Canadian crunch, the one, two, kick out. Lee Masters digging down deep, realizing he may not get another shot at a singles title ever in his AWL career, he's a, and he's a season zero original. Kid Canada, a veteran of the Animated Wrestling League as well, came here as part of season two, I believe. Leg drop across the throat. And what do we have here? Up and back to that seated abdominal stretch. Looking for something, looking to maybe dislocate that shoulder, but this time Lee Masters Able to get out of it a lot faster because he's figured out the counter. That's the thing about somebody like Lee Masters, a technical wizard. He knows, once he, once he knows a hold, he knows the way out of it. You cannot surprise him twice with the same trick. Canadian Destroyer! Right on the top of his head and blood hath been spilled in the AWL Arena tonight. Blood spilled for your entertainment, ladies and gentlemen. Respect that blood, hit subscribe, hit like, leave Open a comment, day something day like that. Five, five minutes, minutes expired. Five minutes and Lee Masters with a second wind, feeling his own blood trickling down his face. That's an adrenaline rush right there. If you've ever cut yourself, you're, as soon as you realize you're bleeding, you are hyper aware of everything going on. Canadian crunch, right to the already injured forehead. Canadian crunch, Canadian crunch for the one, two, Three title retain. Lee Masters coming very close on a couple of occasions. Let's take a look at some of that action. Canadian Destroyer, I believe that was the one that busted him open. And the final Canadian Crunch. Yeah, right knee, right to that cut for the one, two, three. Here is your winner, and still. Tomorrow, the mistress of a thousand holds has a chance at vengeance against the woman who beat her last week, Ashtamol Suzuku.